Hey guys and welcome to a new video on this channel. I'm Sabi from Code Revolution. So today let me show you how to use my plugin that I just developed, Perf Boost. It is is its name and it is used to increase the performance of your website by deactivating plugins that stay idle uh, a large percent of time on your website and just occupy resources. So the Perf Boost plugin will activate uh, other plugins that uh, usually stay idle only when they are needed. So let me show you how to use this plugin. <clears throat> First of all, we need to install it. Click Plugins, Add New. Upload Plugin, choose File. Navigate to the zip file you downloaded. And please extract the zip file you downloaded and uh, you will find inside the documentation for the plugin and also an installable zip file. So extract it and install the zip found inside the zip and activate it. And here it is. It is a very lightweight plugin and it just does one thing. It activates and deactivates other plugins based on rules you define. So here is the main settings part. Here you can enable logging, detailed logging. If you want more logs to be shown, you can check this and automatically clear logs every once in a while. Logs are visible here. Okay, so we covered this. Now let's go ahead and uh, dive into the features of the plugin. So if we click on activation, deactivation rules, we can see that the plugin is able to create rules on when in, uh, in a day to activate plugins. So uh, this is very useful to uh, auto-blogger plugins that I created, for example, and not just these, any other plugin that you have, and it only does a job at a specific time, for example. If you have a plugin that posts uh, that sends an email, for example, at 5 p.m. And the rest of the time it just stays idle and occupies some ser server resources. Then you can use Perf Boost to deactivate the plugin for the entire day and just activate it on 5 p.m. And deactivate it on 6 p.m., for example, after it it's done its job. So to do this, you should select the plugin you wish to activate. For example, let's uh, search for Newsomatic because this is a very, very great plugin that can work together with this new Perf Boost plugin. So let's select Newsomatic. If I hold down the control button on my keyboard and click other entries, I can select multiple entries here. So for now, let's select only Newsomatic and let's check when to activate the plugin. So here you will see the date and time on your server. So please note that this date and time should be relative to the server time, not your uh, user time. So not the time you see here on uh, your computer, but this time. So this should be taken in consideration when setting this time. So. <clears throat> Let's say I want to enable this plugin at, at 9 p.m. So in this case, the plugin can be activated or deactivated. So let's say I want to activate it. And here we will have also some advanced options. Enable network-wide action and do not call plugin action deactivation hooks. We don't want these to be checked. And now click OK and save settings. Now we can go ahead and wait until 9 p.m. or we can run this rule now and like this the plugins will be activated. If you don't want this to be run automatically you can uncheck this checkbox. But let's leave this checked right now and what we should do is let's see what will happen when 9 p.m. will uh, uh, come or uh, let's run this rule now. So we should go to plugins and 
let's search for new Zematic. It is deactivated now and let's run now. And the green tick means that it was successfully activated. And if we refresh this page, new Zematic is active. Now we can uh, create another rule, same for new Zematic. And this can be set, for example, at 9. Uh, 40 for example also pm and this should be uh, running when the plugin is deactivated okay so the new Zomatic plugin is active now let's go ahead and run this uh, rule exactly now how it would run automatically at 9 40 so let's run this and the plugin should be deactivated now Please keep in mind that if you check the network-wide action, it will have no effect on the local plugin. So don't check this unless you are, having, you are dealing with a network installation of WordPress. Also, the do not call plugin activation deactivation hooks can be useful if your plugin deletes some of its settings by, on its deactivation hooks or does other stuff on activation hooks so uh, if you are dealing with plugins that are deleting automatically its settings then you can try checking this checkbox and saving settings to see if it helps and like this the plugin will be able to deal with other plugins that uh, otherwise might uh, mess up their settings when deactivated so this is the first rule uh, that this plugin is usable with so uh, this plugin can be used mainly with other plugins that uh, don't automatically delete their settings when they are deactivated and if they do you can try to uh, check this checkbox the do not call plugin activation deactivation hooks because in their hooks in these hooks the plugins uh, might do the uh, settings cleanup and if we check this then you sh can skip this phase okay so we see we saw how we can activate the plugin only in a given period of time and keep in mind you can uh, make this for multiple plugins and same for here okay and now we will see that multiple plugins are activated and deactivated when we run this rule now the plugins are all activated here and when we run this rule now the plugins are all deactivated okay now let's go ahead and check the other feature of this plugin so we can delete these rules from here and if we check the post publish actions here we will see that we can select a set of plugins that we wish to activate each time we publish new posts on our site so let me show you how this is useful for you so uh, first of all uh, let me uh, show you that i have here many other plugins that automatically publish on my blog or on Facebook or on so I created many other plugins that automatically publish new posts when I create a new post on my blog so uh, in these cases these plugins publish to Facebook to Twitter to blog blogger to blogspot for example and in the rest of the time when I don't publish new posts on my blog, these plugins stay idle and they uh, occupy server resources. Because of this, I can use the PerfBoost plugin to activate them only when I publish new posts on my site. So, to do this, we can hit here, change plugin status on publishing, we can activate this and save settings now i can select the plugin i wish to activate when i publish new posts so let's say for example i wish to use the blogspotomatic <coughs> plugin uh, this will publish my new post to blogspot 
also uh, network wide action if we have a network installation we can uh, check this and do not call plugin activation deactivation hooks the same settings as before and revert plugin state after if i want to automatically deactivate the plugin after i publish the new post i enter here an amount of seconds and the plugin will be automatically deactivated after it did its job uh, however you should know that these seconds uh, should be set uh, with the time in mind that the plugin requires for its job to be done so if it is a heavy uh, resource intensive plugin you should increase this value to even more like 1000 seconds or something like this but this is just an example so if we check plugins we can search for blogspotomatic and it is deactivated now and now let me go to my blogger blog and switch to the blog where I will be publishing new posts. So this is the blog that is connected with the Blogspotomatic plugin. Okay, now I can go ahead and add a new post. Keep in mind that the Blogspotomatic plugin is deactivated now. So let's add a new post. Testing perf boost. Okay, so now I will publish this on my blog here. And the uh, plugin, the perf boost plugin, activated Blogspotomatic. And Blogspotomatic did its posting to my uh, blogger blog. So if we check this blogger blog, we will see that it did the posting automatically and this is the address of my testing blog okay so because we also said that the revert the state should be reverted after 10 seconds we can refresh the site now and wait for the block automatic to be deactivated so it is now automatically deactivated and it will come back online again when I publish another new post. So let me publish a new post, another test, test, and so on. And hit publish, and we can refresh here, and Blogspotomatic will be activated. We can go back here, refresh, and there will be also another post let us go ahead and delete these testing posts because they are not useful and this is all so if we refresh our site now then we should see blocks automatic deactivate okay so these are the main features of the perf boost plugin so Keep in mind that if you have resource intensive plugins on your site, then this plugin is great for you and this will help you activate those other plugins that uh, occupy either resources uh, and it will boost your site and its load time a lot. So using this plugin, you can automate the entire process of activating and deactivating other plugins that otherwise only stay idle and wait for a published post event for example or wait for uh, just uh, you to uh, hit publish on your post or just wait for a, a time to come so they can uh, do their job and the uh, other time they are idle so i hope this plugin will be useful for you and as always, let me know everything and every uh, idea that you have on it. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more similar updates, news and new plugins. And until next time, have a great day. Bye bye. Over and out.